What's up and welcome to this video. Get ready to discover a lot of hidden information about medic. After this video, you will know how to be a better medic by not only proving your skill but also analyzing the map and knowing your place. You will also learn how to see enemies through smoke and move more efficiently, as well as personal tips I use to bring the team to victory. Let's begin. The power of medic is close range combat. Deadly shotguns can take only one shot to kill if you choose the right range. Let me break this down using an example. This is where riflemen can show their best game, a lot of open space ideal for assault rifles with high damage at long distances, however, at this range MIDI becomes nothing but a punching bag, and so does your central nervous system. To avoid buying new keyboards all the time, you should mostly find yourself in close quarter combats. In tight spaces players don't have much time to react, which gives you a higher advantage since you are the one holding a shotgun. For most players, medic is in the first class of choice, because it's a difficult class to play. And even then, when was the last time you had a good medic on your team that doesn't die in the beginning of the round trying to rush down the enemy? Or just camps the whole game waiting for someone to revive? The key here is balanced playstyle, I'll explain throughout the video what that means. But remember, that common mistake beginners make is that they play this class like they would any other, completely disregarding the close range power of shotguns. Also, important note, try to use slides only when necessary. In early stages of Warface you could go into a slide and then immediately stand up which made it very hard for the enemy to hit you. I'm surprised many people still use slides even though they were fixed many years ago. Now I would like to talk about range. Most people that start Warface by playing Rifleman don't really understand the range in Warface. Shotguns are effective at this range, about 6 to 10 meters, anything further will make it hard to kill the enemy. It doesn't mean you won't win a gunfight, it just means that there is a high risk. Trust me when I say that, I personally found it very hard to play at the correct range when I just started out. A good rule to follow is to never peek as medic at long distances and open spaces. Even if you do see an enemy, you can't kill him from that range, so all you just did is let him know your location. Think about that for a moment. Now let's look at some numbers and statistics. Distance in Warface is measured in meters, so range or effective range of the shotgun is the amount of meters your weapon will not have damage drop. A damage drop is a decrease of damage over distance, which is why shotguns do barely any damage at long range. When you play, try to keep this range in mind, for example, if the enemy suddenly jumps out, would you have enough range to kill him? I know this is a lot of information, but I recommend you pause the video for a second and really get to the bottom of things. Now let's look at the game mechanics which not many players know about. In my last tutorial I mentioned how you can chop away smoke grenade, and today I will teach you how you can see and kill through smoke. Everyone knows that smokes in Warface are broken, for example, you can still see outlines of metal fences which makes it easy to see the enemy silhouettes. If you find your vision getting blocked by smoke, move your crosshair around and once it's located over the enemy, you will see a red dot on your radar, that's how you know when to shoot. Unlike in other games where smoke releases a lot of small particles, smokes in Warface are made of moving solid textures. Therefore, if you show different color smokes in the same place, you will see an outline of the enemy when textures cross each other. Also, never stand on top of the smoke grenade, it will make you very visible, and never run through smoke if you don't know what's on the other side, the enemy will see you way before you even exit the smoke. Now, a couple tips on effective movement. We already know that a good medic plays only in close quarters and never peeks without a reason. In the next game you play, try not to expose yourself as much. It doesn't mean you have to camp, just don't walk around in open spaces with no cover. I promise you, your game will become more consistent. Also, when climbing objects, make sure to let go of shift. This allows your sprint bar to recharge because otherwise you're just burning it and not actually moving any faster. Many players complain about teleports after you climb up with a partner. Same thing, just don't hold shift, this will fix it. And the equipment is simple with medic, if you want the best of the best, put on Earthshaker helmet, open cup vest, open cup gloves and atlas shoes. That's what I personally use and it shows great results. If you don't have those items, put on warlord helmet, rhino vest, warlord gloves and boots. Also a very solid combo. At the end of the day, what makes medic a medic is his ability to revive the whole team. A good medic can turn around the battlefield without having to take a single shot. So try to always stay behind your teammates and let them run in front, especially if you're the only one with a medkit. A good rule to follow to resist the urge to rush is not to move for about 2-3 to three seconds in the beginning of each round and then start running after your teammates. It's very simple but it works really well. After a while it will become second nature. If you are serious about learning this class, make sure to watch my breakdown of shotguns. From there you will learn what attachments to use, how damage works and which shotgun is the best for you, as well as other hidden mechanics. This is one of my earlier tutorials but it's filled with important information. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.